Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel Lone Star Gamer Dad here with more trails in the sky. And I think we found out uh, what the three-eyed thing is here in town. I think it's this, this uh, thing here. Can see how there's three eyes up there? I wonder if there's something around this plaque that we can look at. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Hmm. What's wrong? Hey, that's a card, isn't it? Let's have a look. So I was right. This is definitely it. The same card we saw in the Mayor's Estate. I see. So this is what the card meant by three-eyed. Yeah, it was a um, quest for the mayor. Find his candelabra that a thief stole. And he said, find the three-eyed preacher watching over the town. Oh, I see. This might be the three-eyed part of the clue. Three-eyed part of the clue. As I can read. So, is anything written on it? Let's see. Ah, oh, Seeker. The eyes of Ideos see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Looks like the net spot's been picked. Look to the endless watch which unfolds between red and black. Red and black. That has to mean something in Ruan, don't you think? Probably, yeah. I guess the criminal must sure love his puzzles. He won't break his own rules. What a total jackass. <laughs> oh well, let's start searching. The long waltz. That makes me think the bridge, but I just don't know if that would be it. Yeah, that's that's what I think. The long waltz there. Between red and black, but I'm just trying to see if anything's gonna trigger, but so in the for the meantime, we are going to go out here, and I'll have to think on that. We are going to go out here and do this uh, secret search for the secret treasure somewhere in the Gull Seaside Highway. Basically, follow the beach heading toward Ruin. So, and then we've got to make a delivery to a, uh, a lighthouse, which, no, that's the Royal Academy. Okay. Make a delivery to a lighthouse and do this uh, kind of treasure southeast of a pit. I don't really know. It's pretty confusing all around. Talks about a pit and then it's southeast, but I don't really know. Northeast. So southeast would be this direction. But there's nothing there. Hmm. And I don't really think it's guarded by anything. I don't see anything that resembles a pit. This is the Mercia Orphanage. Hmm. And that's not really a pit anywhere either. This is really interesting. Hmm. I need to look at my map. Ah, no. Not what I wanted to look at. Thank you. 
Let's try to find this treasure first. I must find this treasure. It spoke of something about a pit, and then it's southeast of the pit. I wish we could have an Sex Rusty's how okay, the starting point seems to be a hollow surrounded by cliff walls on the Skull Seaside Beach. I think I found that. I'll say it's this. Oh. Uh -oh. Monsters appeared. Yeah, that's gotta be that pit he was talking about. It's it's gotta be, right? What spell was that? There's just some blue. Okay. And then I wonder. Ooh, I gotta heal. Uh, let's heal with her. Wish I had an AoE blue one. This wouldn't hurt to do the earth one. Blue. Water is just better against these guys. Aqua bleed. See? Take him out real quick with that. Come along, come along, come along. Flame again. Oh, we confused. No, 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 no. That's not nice. Uh, we'll just do that on that. There we go. Regular damage, regular weapons don't do too bad. But the water spells just pretty much instantly kill him. One hit. Oh, really? Come on, guys. Rude. Dang it. All right, Joshua. Ah, almost 700 damage. Boom. And of course she confuses him again. Yeah. Well, that takes care of that. Well, that takes care of that. Not a lot of XP to be had. See, Ruby Talisman. See how this is surrounded by cave walls? Uh, it's supposed to be to the southeast of here. I'm wondering if we don't have to fight this guy over here. And maybe it's back there where he's at. Alright, gotta stay away from him because he has... A nasty explosion. So we will try everybody using their art. Mm -hmm. See? That's what his AoE too. It sucks. Nicely done. Nicely done. Hopefully with Chloe we ought to be able to nail him, right? Yes. Yes, perfect, Chloe, perfect. See, it talks about X marks the spot. Southeast of there. 
Oh, well. I, I can actually go in the water? What? Hmm. So we are going to follow this around. I didn't even think to look at my map. Because I was used to seeing how early on all we saw was the uh, world map. Okay, so uh, how do we do this? Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. Yes. Found skull daggers and torn men. Wow, some daggers. They seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Orbital Revolution. Well, what about this piece of paper? Looks like a piece of a sea chart. Do you think? Maybe this is the treasure that Jimmy was talking about? Sorry, but I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'd say this probably washed ashore from somewhere else. Might have been cargo from shipwreck. Yes, I believe you're right. I heard that such accidents happened often long ago. Oh, so before the airships, everyone traveled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is right on an old trade route or something then. Well, we're going to return this to Jimmy. Just to see. And then... Uh, try to find where that escort job is. And hit the uh, lighthouse after that. Jimmy. She's in the chapel. Which is right here. Let's see if this is it. Hey, Jimmy! Oh, you're back. Any sign of the treasure? Um, well, we haven't found anything substantial yet. But we did find a couple of daggers and a beat-up map. Uh, a sea chart. Whoa, this is big stuff. Please, let me see it. Hey, calm down. I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. Hand it over, torn map. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Oh wow, this is incredible! This is one of Shermer's treasure maps. What? Hmm. Now hold on a second, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had the treasure map already. That had to have been a treasure map map. Map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is. This is getting confusing. Oh, I agree. But I found the chart inside a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we have to just suspend our disbelief to get through the day. <laughs> it may seem a little strange that we find a sea chart like that. But I kind of want to believe that there's something to all of this. Even though you doubted the authenticity of it, Joshua. Haha, <laughs> as do I. Hmm, well, it is something to think about. Well, as long as our client's happy, we're happy, even if we're also very confused. Oh, that's right. Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers we found at the chart? Hmm? You guys can keep those. I don't have much in the way of Mira, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please, take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Oh, this is really amazing. The sea chart is just spectacular find. Ha ha ha, looks like I'll busy, be busy again real soon. Whoa, I can't stick around here. I've got to take this to O'Neill to get it deciphered. He's going to flip. Who's O'Neill? Later, thanks for your help. I have a feeling we'll be seeing him again. O'Neill? Oh, okay, now I get it. So, who is he? He is an older gentleman who runs a general store. He tells lots of interesting stories, but he tends to blow them out of proportion. Yeah, I get what you mean. I guess Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's tall tales. So yes, so it would appear. Uh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. But... 
If it is true, maybe that chart really is one from his fishtails. That's possible. Huh, I guess it is a little mysterious. Hey, if we believe in it, I wonder if maybe it would pay off. Honestly, though, I think Jimmy believes a little too, uh, fervently. Still, chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. No, it's not. Quest old secret of the old map completed. Hmm. Alright, Minoria Village. So is this the general store? No, that's that can't be the general store she was talking about. Oh, what's this? All these kids, huh? Thanks for helping Clem. Oh, these are all the orphanage kids. He can be a real pain sometimes. Minoria Elder's house, huh? There's nothing left of the orphanage but rubble and ashes. That fire must have been burning super hot. Yes. So many memories made there. Alright. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. And that's probably not what I'm looking for. Does she have a house? Is there uh, another house over here? Aha! Maybe. Oh, cutscene must be her. Huh? Um, are you all with the Racer Guild? Hmm? Yeah, we are. I guess you must be Miss Amelia. That's right, I've been waiting for you. The assignment said something about an escort mission? Guarding someone who's headed into the mountains? Yes, that's right, I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail. Hmm. Oh, he's traveling to Bows, right? No, not exactly. He went specifically to go to the Crone Trail. Huh? How come? Why would anyone want to just go there? He said something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, I don't really know what he's talking about. Ah, uh, okay then. Well, I think we should ask him directly then. Indeed. Please wait a moment, I've already called him. This sounded a lot simpler when we saw it on the bulletin board. I have a feeling this isn't going to go well. Crone Trail is an exceedingly dangerous place. I can't imagine anyone specifically wanting to go there. No kidding. We'll never know if we don't ask the man, though. Oh, looks like he's here. Mm. Huh? Where's your uncle? Well... Looks like he's already set out. What? That out? For the Crone Trail, I assume? I think so, yes. And I'd asked him to at least wait until you showed up. I don't know what made him decide to just leave on his own like this. Hmm, that's not good. Not good at all. Why would he go there alone? It's like asking for a monster to eat you. <laughs> It'll be even more dangerous in the dark. He should really be off the pass by sundown. I'm sorry. Came all this way for basically nothing. Oh, don't worry about us. We're fine. I'm really sorry. I'll have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. Well, I guess we'll go find him, huh? Found to be some way here of finding him. will stumble upon him fighting or being um, held down by a monster, trapped by a monster. All right, so that way is to the lighthouse. So let's see here. We'll go down here to the Crone Trail area. Double back to the lighthouse when we're done. Oh, so we do have to go up this way, huh? No, no, we don't. Just wanted to see, though, because you never know where he may be. Nope. This is an insane amount of backtracking, but we're quite well equipped for fighting at the Crone Pass. There's just a, there's just no uh, point in it because our experience level. So, uh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. 
we're so high level that it doesn't really help us to fight anything here. I'm hoping we can find him relatively easily. Ah! Ooh, this must be it. <laughs> yep. There he is. He's about to get bombed by those guys. Up to it. Hey there! Help! I need help! Come on, Joshua! Alright. Yeah, I figured that's what it's going to be. Silly old man. Wait. Uh, water, 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 water. Yes, and then uh, we'll have you, Soul Blur, that guy. I'm pretty sure Chloe's going to do the most damage. But still could surprise me with what she's got, so. Oh, really, 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 really. Oh, my goodness. Please don't let the rest of you hit her like jerks. Well, that's better than not. <laughs> Attack that one. Attack that one. And we will use... Ah, dang it. Wasn't exactly how I meant to do that spell, but... Go ahead and use your arts, guys. Yeah, Estelle was the one that I was mostly worried about, anyway. Nicely done, you guys. See, it makes you want to do it at this level when you've far out-leveled it. Because it doesn't even offer you this mission for a while. And it makes sense that I bundled it up the way I did, because the lighthouse is just right around the corner. That's that then. Relatively. Yeah, see, 3 XP. Old man, you need to get off the road, okay? It looks like we made it just in time. More like by a hair's breadth. Were you hurt, sir? Not at all. I'm quite all right. Thanks to you, I came out with nothing more than a few scratches. Hmm. Now I can almost swear I've seen you two somewhere before. The girl's homely face is especially familiar. Homely? Hey. But now that you mention it... Oh, I remember now. You're that country girl from Roland. You! Oh, that's the mushroom dude? You're that conniving merchant who was searching for those toxic mushrooms. Still, he was a client, remember? Tone it down a bit. Huh, looks like even now you still haven't learned how to show the slightest courtesy. It's exactly what I expect from someone raised in the boonies. How about you just shut up, you nasty food maniac? No doubt you're out here hunting for more bizarre ingredients, right? I've already gathered the valuable wild vegetables I came here for. These exotic delectables are far more unique than even that firefly fungus. <laughs> With these in hand, my next business deal is sure to be a success. Back up, buddy. What do you mean by next business deal? Huh, that firefly fungus didn't work out for you, did it? I'm not going to listen to any more of this pessimism. There just so happened to be no demand for them at the time. That's all. End of story. Um, Estelle... When he mentioned the wild vegetables, did that bring anything to mind? Oh, right! Amelia? Amelia, who we met at Minoria Village. Amelia, you say? 
That's my niece, but she... What does she have to do with any of this? Eh? Which means that you're her uncle. Duh. Certainly looks that way. Why, has she done something? Actually, Amelia asked that we provide your escort. But when we arrived at Minoria, you had already left. Is that so? I guess it wasn't very nice of me to take off like that. But it couldn't be helped. I had to come up with a real eye-catcher before my next business deal. And because of that, you almost ended up being some monster's next meal. I'm pretty sure you can't do business deals when in the belly of a monster. Hmm. Once you get back, you should apologize to Amelia. I'm sure she's worried sick about you. Alright, fine. I promise to talk to her after my next business deal and Gransel is done. I think that would be a good move on your part, too. Okay, let's get going. We'll escort you back to town. You have my thanks. I am in your hands. Oh, so we actually have to walk him back to town? I mean, there really wasn't much of anything to fight. There may be one or two things that could possibly get us, but... Yeah. Unless they're set up for a fight that I'm not thinking of, but... Oh, well. If we get in a little tussle, we get in a little tussle. It's okay. I would prefer not to, of course, because I don't get hardly any XP, so the fights are pointless for me, but... We shall see. Hmm. Hey, we made it back to town with him. This is splendid. I am greatly obliged to you for today. I do hope that the matter from earlier can be forgiven and forgotten. It would seem that we are united by fate. When next we meet, I hope we can see one another as business associates rather than mutual nuisances. I'm okay with it. What do you think, Estelle? Hmm. Sounds good to me. Sure. Oh. So, we're all on good terms again. To future successes. I'm very glad to hear you say that. Then perhaps we'll meet again on the next job. Alright. Another one done. Completed. Now let's go to the uh, lighthouse. Which I passed by before. And I'm now I'm glad I did. Because I now I have a reason to go there. I'm sure I could have done whatever from here before if there's a mission or something dang it i'm sure i could have done before but now that i got this delivery it makes double sense for me to go there I and mean, maybe there's nothing but we will find out here in just a minute done and done look at that Good to go. Good to go. Just avoiding fights because it's paltry XP. Oh, the Varn Lighthouse. Varin, Varn, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I wouldn't feel right leaving the lighthouse unattended to go get help. But on the other hand, I can't very well leave things as they are, either. Who do we gotta fight through here? My, my, who have we here? What brings you to the Varn Lighthouse? Are you by chance the Lighthouse Innkeeper? Vote? Vot? Vote? Vot? Vot? I'm gonna go with Vot. Oh ho, I certainly am. That emblem on your chest wouldn't happen to be... Oh, that? Yeah, we're bracers. Junior bracers, at any rate. 
Well, why didn't you say so earlier? Y'all should rush to the assistance of an octogenarian octo. Y'all should rush to the assistance of an octogenarian in need. Not pretend like you didn't notice his forlorn expression. Uh, what? What are you talking about, old man? Why didn't you just say anything to us? Because you didn't ask. And the first words be out of your mouth as bracers be something like, Are you in need of any assistance, my elderly friend? I tell you, young bracers these days are all fight, no care. Where's the love? Where's the compassion? Y'all are worlds apart from that manly bracer I worked with before. Now if that was a bracer, you could set your clocks by. Yes, sir. -y. I reckon that was seven years ago, eight perhaps? However long ago it was, he was better than you two. Uh, while I can't tell you how much I'm simply loving this abusive lecture of yours, you were saying something about needing assistance? <clears throat> it really is just as the factory owner said. <clears throat> I, I was? Oh, right, right, right. Yes, dire need. Dire need indeed. You see, I was out cutting the grass earlier, and silly me, I forgot to shut the door when I left. And wouldn't you know it, by the time I got back, there were monsters. Monsters all over the place. There was monsters skittering about. I dare, I daren't go back in there. I am not that crazy. So, before we hand over the maintenance kit, you want us to do some good old-fashioned monster smashing? Is that the gist? I think that pretty much goes without saying, doesn't it? Maintenance kit? What in blazes are you talking about? That's why we're here. We've come in response to a request to deliver a maintenance kit to this lighthouse. But clearly, there are bigger concerns at the moment. Indeed, it's just as you say. You can't exactly do any inspection if it's not safe in there. You have any idea how many of them there are? Not in the slightest. All I know is it's not just one, so be on your guard and don't die. Don't you worry. Bracers never say die. I do have to wonder, though, why monsters would wander into a lighthouse. Probably drawn to the septium. The light produced by a particularly large orbment, as you might imagine. Spot on, whippersnapper. When this happened before, the monsters were all gathered together at the top. Oh, well, if that makes sense. Well, if it makes sense, then get going, girl. Use that brutish body of yours and show those monsters what's what. Help the old man. You bet. Let's, let's do it to it. <clears throat> you bet. Let's do it to it. It's almost inspection time, so please take care of these these things as quickly as you can, okay? Make sure you don't let your guard down, as those things are pretty nimble. Understood. I'm ready. Let's do this thing. So we got to just clear this place, huh? Sounds easy enough, unless it's like 20 floors. Oh, yes. Oh, I was hoping that would kill it. Critical? Well, at least they don't hit hard. That's good. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. No, we've all three got our specials. I don't want to use Chloe's. It serves as a mass heal, so... I'll save that for when I really get desperate. Do -do -do -do. Yes, and another victory. 12 and 6 XP. Ah, there we go with some green. I need 80 green and Joshua would be maxed out on his uh, ornaments. Seems simple enough. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with my... Uh... No, you know, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll wait. Oh, what? How is this still going to miss? These are just weird hammerhead shark looking things. Oh, 
Mm. Oh, well, Josh was getting his butt kicked a little bit. Snack. Oh. Jeez, Joshua. Well, at least that, that heal helped. We'll smack that one. Stab. Dead. And attack. And that one should be dead. Yeah. Alright, we're good to go. Yes, we're good to go. Good. I only need 30 more green. Hmm. Let's go with, uh... I think having Chloe here. Joshua. Oh, almost. And Art, uh... Yeah. Heal. You are healed, my child. Of course you guys are going to attack her now. Gang up on her. It's okay. One down. Poke. Come on, guys. There we go. What? Come on. The random num number generator didn't like me in this fight. That's that then. Let's move out. Right on, Joshua. Right on. Another six. You're, you're not, it's not cool of you, okay? <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oak. <laughs> oh, really? We're going to go and attack the other one, Joshua, with, uh, Chloe. Ah, come on. Yeah, I know it's a waste of crit, but it's okay. Random number generator doesn't like me right now, so it might not kill the other one. Come on, did I kill him? Thank you. There we go. Good job, guys. Nicely done. Oh, almost. We got 62. Defeated all the monsters. So does that mean we can go downstairs? And talk to the old man now? Yep. Let's go. Let's go get him and let him know. That was pretty easy side quest. I figured there would have been one boss up top. Okay, if they say it's over, then it's over, right? Let's see what he has to say now. How did the monster busting go? 
Hey, stick a fork in you, old man, because this job is done. The monsters have all been taken care of. Everything should be back to normal in there now. Oh my, that's splendid news. At long last, I can hold the maintenance kit in my hands and use its contents to make this lighthouse, nay, this world, a better place. So, what are we waiting for? If it's safe now, then let's get inside, shall we? Let's. Man, feels like I haven't been in here in ages. I think we should get our work finished ahead of time, Estelle. Early bird catches the worm, right? Something like that, yeah. Salutations, I come on behalf of the Bracer Guild, bearing a package for you. It's a little heavy though, so be careful lifting it. Hand it over the maintenance kit. Yep, everything's here alright. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries, it's our job after all. The townsfolk were actually really worried about you too, so I'm just glad to see you're doing well. Work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert those old bones of yours. I'll do that. Thank you for your concern. Blunt as a bee. You're starting to understand what it means to possess a caring soul? Uh, nope. Not really. I'm no good with those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. And here I thought you'd grown up a bit. Oh, well. I guess you still got a ways to go before you can match the level of that bracer. Actually, I'd like to hear more about him. What kind of bracer was he? If the stories I've heard are true, he's quite an amazing man. He was a great help to me seven or eight years ago, but sadly I can't even remember his name anymore. He was a hell of a man though, no offense, but he made you guys look like crap by comparison. Though there is a bit of a resemblance actually, he had reddish brown hair just like yours. In fact, even your eyes have the same basic hue. Reddish brown hair and the same eye colors as Stell's? Could that bracer have been? Huh? I'm very much hoping you guys will rise to his level, given the time. Though I suspect I may be wishing for things that are never to be. Yeah, it's Cassius. At any rate, thanks for all your hard work, kids. I best get to work. Time to start my rounds. Oh yeah, well, you take care now, okay? Don't break your hip! Excuse us, please. <laughs> Don't break your hip. Oh, Estelle. Hmm. So are you thinking what I'm thinking, Joshua? Yeah, I couldn't help but read it. Read into it myself. Seven or eight years ago would be right on the money. The bracer by whom vote was comparing you? The uh, manly fellow? Is it someone you know? Yeah, you could say that. I'm pretty sure he was talking about her dad. Oh? If that is who he was talking about, though, then of course we're not going to measure up. Yeah, seriously. Oh, I guess we are bracers like him now, so it's kind of flattering in a way to be compared to him at all. If we want to make names for ourselves like him, though, we really have to take one step at a time. Catch it bit by bit, day by day. But even then, I think he's a little out of our league. Huh, yeah, maybe. But I can only believe that one day we'll totally outclass him. I mean, we pretty much rule. <laughs> That's very a stellish thing to say. Uh, thanks, I think. Anyway, we'd best get going. There's no time to be horsing around. If we're going to become world-class bracers, we've got to get moving. You're absolutely right. Let's hit the road and see where it takes us. All right. Uh, it's taking us right back to... Ruan Report Lighthouse Monsters 1500 Mira 4 BP gained Report and Maintenance Delivery 1000 Mira 4 BP gained And the Escort Job 1500 Mira and 5 BP gained Current Rank Junior Bracer 5th Class We're at 125 total BP though Much obliged You appear to have achieved your goal without injury if you complete any other jobs, be sure to give me all the juicy details. And that will leave us with only one thing to do, and that's go start to play, or at least rehearse, with Chloe at the Academy in the next video. 
Come back soon and we will do it together.